Okay, guys, I'm going to try this. Um, this is what I want you to do to practice your math facts and division facts, but understand what's happening. So um, we stop either counting on our fingers or doing things like adding up lots of numbers like this, because even though this is not wrong, it takes us a long time. It takes us a long time. So what am I doing there? Like where we add up numbers, if it's one, two, three, four, five, five times three, we do have five and we have three groups. And if we counted this up, it equals 15, but that takes us a long time. So um, I want you to build both the understanding and um, the math facts. So this is what we're gonna do. Like we started before with me is you're gonna take a set of skills, like right here, this is the fives and you're going to build it. So if I say fives, I want you to think that number is the columns, and this number is the rows. It doesn't have to be like that. You could make this number the rows and this number the column. It really doesn't matter, but that's one way to think about it. So if I saw I need five columns, and I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, a lot of stuff out here. One, two, three, four, five, there we go. Five columns. And now how many rows do I need? Five, so I need five rows of five fit into those five columns. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. this still as I build by the other hand. Sorry, this is slow. So I am building an array of five by five. By the way, all of these arrays should be even. You shouldn't have anything hanging off the side right now. Okay, one, two, three, four. I have four rows. I have one, two, three, four, four five columns, need one more row. Then what you're gonna do, so Dell's trying to get ready quickly. I'm gonna stop this video and show you what to do with the linear pieces. So that's my five by five, okay? Do that first.